Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first video in my new music room. Um, I'm still kind of working with this setup. I don't know exactly where I really want to film. I kind of want to film in front of my record player, but I don't know if I love the whole setup over here like that you can see because there's a lot of really cool stuff behind me that you can't see. Um, so I may kind of continue to film in front of my big wall of records. Um, but I'm kind of just, I'm experimenting. Um, I will be doing like a, a music room tour when I get everything 100% set up and done. Um, but right now videos may be a little scarce. Uh, I thought I would throw up a couple haul videos because those are kind of easy. So uh, today I'm actually going to be showing you what I got for record store day drop number two, uh, July 17th, 2021. Um... I'm also going to film a haul video of all the stuff that I bought on my vacation in Nashville, uh, which will be going up hopefully sometime within the next week or so. And then I did get a few other things like before Nashville and stuff like that. So I will kind of show you guys those as well in like a whole other video. Um, so I probably have like three hauls coming soon and then I'm probably going to be a little scarce for a while. Um, because I don't, like, I have videos planned out, but I just don't have the time to execute them right now. So, um, moving into, like, that new house and everything has been a little stressful. So, once I get everything set up, I will kind of get on a more normal schedule, hopefully by the end of August. So, let's go ahead and get into what I got for, uh, Record Store Day, drop number two this year. Jared did get a few things as well. Um, he is kind of sleeping because we've had, like, a really busy week. So, um, I'm going to try and get him to like film a little clip of the things he got and I'll kind of put it in here, uh, as well. But for now, I'm going to sit down and show you guys what I got. And if I can get him to film something, I'll kind of put a little clip in here uh, of him talking about what he got. But, uh, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is one that like we both kind of wanted. So I don't know whose collection this will end up going in. Um, but it is the DGs Hail Satin, uh, which is like the Foo Fighters covering the Bee Gees. And I didn't even know this was really going to be a thing, this record store day, until like, I mean, it just kind of in the past couple weeks got a ton of hype. And I was like, maybe I'll get it because I like the Foo Fighters. Jared and I both like the Foo Fighters. We both like the Bee Gees. Um, but I didn't know how I really would feel about a Bee Gees like cover album done by the Foo Fighters. Um, but then on our Nashville trip, uh, Emma over at Avon Alo, her boyfriend Juan played some stuff from this and it sounded really cool and then the packaging on, of this is just really cool as well like it's got all that like foily kind of stuff in it so it's just super shiny and then it does come with this really cool print in here very nice comes in a paper inner and it does have some really cool custom labels. I really love like the DGs on that side, how it says that, and then it's got the Foo Fighters. I think that's very, very cool. Next one was the Amy Winehouse remixes. This is one that I was kind of a maybe on, but like I really wanted this because I love Amy. And this one was supposed to drop on the first date, but it only dropped in the UK on the first date and it dropped here in the US on the second date. So um, this is just like, different remixes of Amy Winehouse songs. Uh, you've got like a remix of Stronger Than Me, um, Take the Box, Fuck Me Pumps, In My Bed, Rehab, Back to Black, You Know I'm No Good, Tears Dry on Their Own, Love is a Losing Game, Rehab. Um, yeah, and then, like you have a couple like repeats on here, but like different remixes of the songs. I didn't really know how I would like this because I'm not like a huge fan of like remix albums and stuff. But I love Amy, so I had to get it. I really had to. I didn't have to get it, but like I wanted to get it. The colors on this looked phenomenal. Like in everybody that I watched in the UK when they showed this album, it just looks so phenomenal. So this is the first inner here. And then it tells you the songs on the other side there. And first LP is on like this transparent yellow color. And then this is the inner for the second LP yellow and blue so this one's on like a transparent blue color 
absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to listen to this one. I did get the Donna Summer Bad Girls album as well because it's beautiful and I had to have it. Um, I've been really wanting to add some Donna Summer into my collection. This is a French import. This is a French import, uh, the greatest disco album ever made, the best-selling and most critically acclaimed album of Donna Summer's career, original label art, original album art, uh, translucent red and blue double vinyl on here. I mean, a ton of information on this little OBS strip here. Uh, you've got like the track listing. So on this one, you have obviously like her big song, Hot Stuff. You have Bad Girls. I'll give you guys a close up of the OB strip on that one. Very cool. And uh, this, this is just incredible. It's got like a nice slick feel to it. Got the album art there. Gorgeous gatefold. I have some custom inners on this one as well. So you have like the lyrics and liner notes. And the first one is on this pretty translucent red. And this is the second inner. Again, you got lyrics, stuff on that one. And this one is on like a dark transparent blue color. And then the number one thing that I wanted from this release day uh, was the Queen and Adam Lambert Live Around the World EP. You guys know I'm a huge Queen fan. This was the first thing that I went for. It was on the wall and it was the first thing that I saw and grabbed. I made sure it was the first thing I grabbed because uh, the youngest members of the VC group and I went into Matt's Friday before he closed and he said he only had three copies. So I made sure we were there early and I made sure that I was able to get my copy. Um, but yeah, this is... Is it necessary? No, but I'm a huge fan of Queen, so I had to have it. So if you aren't familiar with the Live Around the World album that they released last year, it's a live album that has some shows that Queen did with, you know, Adam Lambert as the front man. Uh, it's kind of like a compilation of different shows that they've done over the years. And this little EP has um, four songs from that album. Uh, the Show Must Go On, Somebody to Love, Love Kills, and I Was Born to Love You. But then they included I Want It All live in Tokyo, which is like the bonus track that's on this. And then you also got a 7-inch in here, which I'm really excited to open. Um, this is Half Speed Master to Abbey Road. I'm really, really excited for this. You guys know I love Queen. I also love how this album art's a little different. It's got more of a red tint to it. All right, so there's the cover without the glare, finally. And then there's the back that's got the track listing information on here. It does have a polyline sleeve for this one. Um, and the 12 inch is actually just on a standard black. The only thing that's colored is the seven inch, which I will show you in just a second. So this is the seven inch here and I'll kind of show it to you before I take it out of the shrink. It's limited edition pink vinyl. Uh, side A featured on Never Boring, the Freddie Mercury solo collection and side B is a record store day exclusive. Um, so side A has Love Me Like There's No Tomorrow and then side B has Love Me Like There's No Tomorrow instrumental. So really just two versions of the same song. I didn't know if it was just going to be in a sleeve like tucked into this. I didn't really know how this was going to be packaged so the packaging on this is kind of blowing my mind. But this picture is just absolutely gorgeous. And then I love how they have the pink back there with all like the, uh, you have the lyrics and then you have like your credits and everything over here. So very nice and then it does even go the extra mile and it has a poly lined inner for the seven inch as well so you're going the extra mile there and gosh guys this this pink is gorgeous it's a nice bright translucent hot pink color so then when we went up to check out because when we go into mellow mats um, he allows eight people in at a time which he actually allowed our whole group to go in uh, at one time, which was really fun because I did, I thought our group was going to get split up a little bit. Um, but we did get a tote bag when we checked out and it come with an Atlantic records, RSD drops, volume one music for everyone, little CD in here. Um, I don't really recognize anything I think off the top of my head, but I like the little CD samplers. They're fun. So then later on, Jared and I went back to Matt's because his daughter was actually playing her first gig um, around lunch and so we went back in and bought some more stuff but we went in and we got one of the like paper 
RSD bags that Matt always has made up for RSD. Um, because we bought some stuff. <laughs> we bought more. I did definitely want to go back and look at the used stuff because he always puts out some really cool stuff. So, um, I really like some Nancy Sinatra and I found the album Country My Way. And I thought this one would be a nice one to add to the collection. Um, so I picked this one up and it's in really good shape. So I'm super, super excited about that. Really beautiful, clean copy of this album. I don't have a lot of Nancy Sinatra in my collection. Uh, Matt did have a few other Nancy Sinatra albums, but I opted to just get one because uh, we had been out spending money all week. Uh, so I kind of just opted for one record, um, one of her records. I will definitely probably pick up the others at some point if they're still there. And then I did find an album that has been highly recommended to me uh, by so many people. When I say that I don't know a lot by Simon and Garfunkel, people recommend Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme. And this is the first time I've seen this in a record store. So I'm sure Matt has probably had copies of this before and I've just never seen them or passed on them or whatever. Um, but yeah, everyone that tells me I need to listen to this album will be happy because uh, <laughs> I will eventually listen to this uh, in the near future. It's on the Columbia 2i, which is really cool. So I'm definitely excited to give this a listen because I have been slacking and I've not listened to this album at all, even though people have recommended it to me. But that is what I got uh, today at Matt's. Like I said, if Jared decides to do a little part, I'll insert it here. Picked up Dio, picture disc, um, Angry Machines. It's got uh, God Hates Heavy Metal and This Is Your Life from the album Angry Machines, which I think I have the full length anyway. Um, it has got like a robot. Well, they're both technically robots, I guess. Anyway. Next thing I picked up was Willie Nelson, American Outlaw All-Star Concert, which is a series of covers of his songs. It's got Chris Stapleton, um, Vince Gill, Margot Price, uh, Eric Church, Emmylou Harris, Cheryl Crow, Jimmy Buffett, George Strait, I mean you name it, it's any country artist that has covered Willie or Willie has been working with them uh, is on here. I think it took place at Bridgestone Arena uh, two years ago in January. And then I picked up the Beastie Boys Aglio e Olio, I don't really know how to say that so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Beastie Boys always does a pretty good job of putting out something interesting for Record Store Day. I'm kind of looking forward to listening to that and uh, kind of expanding my knowledge of the Beastie Boys. And then after Record Store Day and eating some breakfast, we came back and I picked up Roger Miller, Golden Hits. Um, it's got stuff like King of the Road, Dang Me, um, Chug a Lug. Um, that's all I really know off of this, but it's Roger Miller. He has fun writing writing music. Um, he's kind of like that more upbeat, fun country. So, but uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, it's just been amazing watching my channel grow lately, and. Uh, in the comments below, let me know if you guys picked up anything from your local store. Did you order something online? Uh, how did you participate in Record Store Day this year? Uh, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.